Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to take a shot at caliper paint. Bought this kit, it's pretty straightforward. It comes with a caliper cleaner, which is probably just brake cleaner. It comes with the paint itself, stir stick, brush, brushes, brush, a brush, looks like a brush, and uh, a masking tape of some sort. I do have backup masking tape in case I don't like it. But it does look pretty straightforward. It looks like you uh, remove the wheel, clean it, clean it more, masking tape some stuff, which I don't think I really need to do, and then stir it and paint it. Um, I don't really know what to expect. I did look up some reviews, and the, the complaints were that these little uh, metal brushes here were pretty awful, so I picked up a few of these just you know, standard uh, one inch brush. Figured it's a little better, and I got a few of them, so if I, they start deteriorating on me, I can ditch them and move on to the next. Obviously, this car came with uh, what may be one of the ugliest co colors of brake caliper ever. It just, it blends so much that it kind of misses the point. And yes, I did rub the caliper with my uh, winter rim for a little while. So we do get that nice uh, rubbed effect. They are aluminum, of course, so they did not rust, as you would expect. But we're going to try to clean them up a little bit and make them look a little prettier. And yes, that is a 5mm wheel spacer as well. Um, I do have both back tires off, and we are going to get started on the rears. First coat is on the car. Well, it's definitely the right tone of blue. That was quite the relief to open the can because the box not that reassuring. It was kind of like, uh, yeah, I don't know, like sky blue or baby blue. And I was like, that's not what I want. But it is definitely the color I wanted. This was the color that I showed online. I've got one coat on. I'm probably gonna try to get two more on each side. And the other side obviously is done. And then I gotta get that done so I get working on the front. So lots of work to come. We have dropped the back end of the vehicle, as you can tell. She looks real purdy. You're supposed to wait two hours before you put the wheel back on. I don't really have time for that because I had to get to the front because I don't really have time for those either. But we're gonna make time because I'm gonna get this done. Uh, I did slap a little bit of paint or tape around the uh, pads on the inside there. And I did put it around the bleed screw, of course. A little bit around the top. I mean, I probably could have spent a bunch of time and taped off everything, but just gonna be careful while I'm painting uh, this side here because just I guess natural rotation has just gotten beaten and I mean beaten holy um, versus the other side I don't know the other side's absolutely pristine you can see that the uh, inside lip here does not have all the pitting and and whatnot I don't know I I really don't know, but it is different. So it is different, I guess. Maybe one side's getting a little more airflow than the other. I have no idea. So we are gonna get to painting and uh, we're gonna get these bad girls blue. Quick update. We have now put three coats of blue per caliper. They do look pretty good. They're not perfect. Um, I never intended them to be perfect, but this cost me $35 in total for all four wheels. And I just kind of wanted them blue. They're, as I mentioned, scraped up from uh, winter rims and they're pretty beat up from all the daily driving I've done. But it, it does look pretty good from uh, about you know three or four feet away. You'd never really be able to tell the difference. Once the wheel goes on, I will get the letters. I'll probably just clean it and put it on with the rims on. Uh, not overly concerned about that. I just wanted to, uh, I don't know, I kind of want to surprise the fellas with the uh, car meet tomorrow. And they know everything that's going on with the car, usually before it even happens. But in this case, they have no idea this has happened. They probably will by the time this video goes up, but that's here nor there. At this moment in time, I got a bit of a surprise. So we'll see how long it takes them to notice. I'm gonna let this sit for a while. I'm gonna go make dinner. I'm gonna go uh, wrestle these 160 pound dogs I'm dog sitting. And uh, we'll see uh, how this looks in a couple hours. Welcome back. We have finished the calibers. I'm not going to tell you if it's been 10 minutes or three days. 
mostly because it's been three days, but that's here nor there. Paint turned out well. Um, it's far from good. It's far from flawless. I'm probably going to try to, I don't know, get a better brush, sand down like the big flat surface where the sticker goes just to make it look a little bit more appealing. But as far as like, just the cosmetic is concerned, they look pretty damn good. They turned out really, really well. It is the right tone of blue. I've had tons of people see me from across this parking lot, all the way over there at Walmart, driving up and just come booting. Oh my God, blue calipers and all this cool stuff. So the car's definitely doing its business. It's definitely, uh, definitely made me appreciate the time that I put into it and make it well, worth it. So that's it. Another mod down. Gonna try to tweak it, touch it up, get it ready to go. Um, and perfect, but for now, that's it. Happy, happy, happy.